Well, we found his body about an hour ago in the park. I guess the poor old fella just keeled over and died. Poor old Sid. I gather you were pretty close friends? Close! Not only was he my friend, he was my partner in vaudeville for over 40 years. Baggy pants, Bobby, and slop stick Sid. <laughs> we were good. Well, would you mind identifying the body? That's what I'm here for. I think it's 303. Here we are right okay. here. Okay. Is that him? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> That's him. Gentlemen, the star of Bazaar, John Biner. American and Canadian audience. <laughs> if I were John Bynum, I would say thank you. I am Hiro Jishiva, head of Penyo Japanese Electronic Company, and John Bynum told me I could have a few minutes to explain what our company is doing. For the Japanese have been the leader in the field of mini electronics. We are very smart people. <laughs> But no matter what we do, we can't stop talking like this. That is a cheap joke, but this is cheap show. <laughs> Seriously, folks, Warumbum, what I am here for tonight is to show you the newest in miniature electronics equipment from Japan. In 1975, the Japanese came out with a small tape recorder. People say, oh, wow. <laughs> That's small. In 1978, we came out with a smaller recorder. <laughs> And you people say, oh, that's small. <laughs> well, tonight, I show you a new yeshiva recorder. This one make people say, holy shit, that's small. <laughs> demonstrate how it work. Hello? Hello? Nice to meet you. Hello? Hello? Nice to meet you. <laughs> of course. Of course, for better sound, use bigger speaker. <laughs> I suppose now you know what this is. Wrong again, round eye. <laughs> this is A lighter. Oh. Third time, always get it. This also a vibrator. I usually wear it somewhere else. a very dirty joke but this dirty show also this little microwave oven also most of all this is damn hot out of my day who needs a hat anyway now I show you 
Yeshiva Fawcett. <laughs> now, I show you a most unbelievable invention since hula hoop. This look like pin, right? Wrong, stupid. <laughs> this world's smallest transistorized microphone. <laughs> testing, testing. Hello? Hello? Next, I would like to show you please, this small... Stop it, please. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I think this is kind of offensive, this piece. So can we move on to something else, please? I, I can't hear you. Speak into microphone. I said it's kind of offensive. <laughs> I didn't say yell into a microphone. Can we move on, please? Can we strike this? What wrong, okay. Incredible Hulk? <laughs> I think this is offensive, okay? Can we move on, please, to the next piece? Let's do it. Strike this. Wait one minute. Have one more thing you might be very impressed with. I doubt it. Ah, what do you think that is? It's a piece of lint. It looks like a piece of lint. It's a man in little white suit trying to say something. Boss, boss, the play, the play. Turn the friend I rented for the weekend. <laughs> How much do I owe you? Let's see, that's two days at $60 a day, $120. <laughs> what the hell is this? You have an accident or something? <laughs> oh, no, I... We were drinking together. I wanted a friend to drink with. Well, you haven't brought him back in the same shape you took him away in. <laughs> hey, that'd be an extra 50 bucks, you know, for cleaning and sobering. Oh, that's okay. I'm on a uh, credit card. Yeah, that's what everybody says. <laughs> All right, take him in the back and prop him up by rented friends, huh? Uh, <laughs> hey, easy with those heels, you know. They're good for another 30,000 miles. <laughs> when it's not their stuff, they don't care, you know? They just don't take care of that stuff. Hi. Um, I'm having a party tonight, and I'd like to rent some food. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. It's six dollars a sandwich or dollar fifty a bite, whichever comes first. Great. I'd like rental sandwiches for twenty. All right. Well, here's the contract. As you see there, in column A, we assume no liability for heartburn or indigestion, and uh, teeth marks are considered a bite. <laughs> You're in luck. These just came in, left over from a senior oh. citizen's picnic. They just gummed a little. <laughs> Thank you okay. so very much. Have a good time. <laughs> oh, hi there, Father. Can I help you? I'd like to rent a female companion for a church social. And what are the requirements? Well, I'd like a refined, mature woman who is a good conversationalist. She must have a pleasant nature, be of good family background, and of strong religious convictions. All right. Uh, do you mind if she has big tits? <laughs> I'll suffer. <laughs> hey, Ralph, wake up, Maisie. There's a pickup at seven. You can pay when you bring her back. Huh? Have a good time, huh? <laughs> I'd like to rent a coffin. <laughs> With or without a body? Without. My, my brother died. Can't afford a coffin. Well, that's what we're here for. Hey, Ralph, got a coffin back there? Yeah, I got one. Is there a body in it? Not anymore. It took longer than I thought. <laughs> Must have been that tall guy they left in there. Some people forget their personal belongings sometimes, you know. We have a special on coffins. You can have it for 72 hours and bury as many people as you want. 
sign anything? No, I just get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'd like to rent a victim. Mugging, robbery, or rape? <laughs> Mugging. You're out of luck. With the rise in crime rate, there are more muggers than there are victims. Desperate. Come back next week. Maybe things will look up. I'll settle for anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Ralph, hold on to the coffin. I may need it. By the way, we close at six. Anything over that's overtime. Lacerations are extra. <laughs> from your honeymoon, Mr. Griswold. Yes. Uh, hang up my coat and hat, please. Of course, sir. No, my wife will be here in a moment. She'll stop and do some shopping in the lobby. Right, sir. Now, remember, Chauncey. Yes, sir. This one will be like the others. We kill her, inherit her fortune. And as always, you get your share. I understand, sir. Now, uh, take my suitcases to the room, please. Right, sir. Yes, yes, come in, dear. Come in. Oh, what a lovely room, Arthur. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Darling. Yes. This is my butler, well, our butler, Chauncey. Chauncey is my new wife. How do you do, Chauncey? My pleasure, madam. May I hang up your coat and take your umbrella? Yes, of course. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me. Oh, darling. Why don't you look at the lovely view? A chance will open the window for you. Lovely. Oh. Glad you like it. Oh. Now, when she looks out the window, I'll push her. It'll look like an accident, okay? I understand, sir. <laughs> Come, dear. Come, John, say, open the window. It's lovely, but you see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a breathtaking oh. view! Yes. <laughs> Chauncey, you may close the window. Certainly, mm. madam. Yes, certainly. <laughs> yes. Oh, what a beautiful fabric. <laughs> Didn't work, sir. I know. Hit it with the lamp. We'll say it's an accident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Just rearranging the lamp, madam. Yes. 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 <laughs> I just adore this place, darling. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Why don't you look around some more? Chauncey, I'll get some drinks prepared. Oh, lovely. Chauncey. Yes, sir. Drinks, sir. <sighs> Better pour a stiff one for us, eh? Yes, sir. We're going to need it. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, it's two a day. I needed that, sir. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, get the sherry and put some poison in it. We'll have a few drinks over on the couch, shall we? Yes, sir. <laughs> Darling, why don't you have a seat there? We'll have some sherry and oh. toast to our future, Chauncey. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. That's yours, madam. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, sir? Well, do you, you uh, join us, Chauncey? Thank you, madam. I will. <laughs> well, uh, here's to uh, both of us. Hey, eh, what? <laughs> 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 Oh, there she goes. Hold, 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 hold it. All right, stop it. Okay. Uh, we'll do it one more time. All uh, right. Okay. What I'd like to do is just pick up the pace a little bit before we do the ending there, all right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Warren, we have got the entire year's makeup on this man. <laughs> okay, change it. Mm. <laughs> you want to uh, change it? Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we we planned this. We thank you, Jerry. Your turn. We planned this whole thing because. Oh, oh, oh. Second, we didn't plan it totally, as you can see, but. Um, 
We planned this whole thing be because Tom Harvey is a terrific actor. He always knows all his lines. He always knows where to go and what to do. So we've done this on purpose. We we've done this sketch all week, and now we're going to change it around and give him some extra little things to see how he reacts to it. We've got some suitcases with rocks in them now instead of, you know, just taking to it. And we got... Pardon? Oh, yeah, we've got some real blues at the counter. And uh, we're just going to check his face and see, see what happened. Okay, we'll have a lot of laughs. Keep it to yourselves, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, Bob? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two. Chauncey? Ah, oh, back from your honeymoon, Mr. Griswold. Yes, I am. Uh, Take my hat and coat. Hang yes. them up, please. Yes, sir. I certainly will. Ah. My new wife will be up in a moment. She'll stop the lobby to shop. Is that right, sir? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Should I take my uh, bags to my room, please? I certainly will, sir. The same as all. Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Now remember, get those bags in there. Now remember, the plan for her is the same as the others. Yes, sir. We kill her, I inherit the money, and you split your pot, you know. I understand, sir. Take the bags to the room, yes. Chante. Yes, I will. Bloody heavy, sir. <laughs> I say, sir. If I... With my winning, sir, can I have my hernia fixed? <laughs> there it is, oh, there it is. Come in, dear. Oh, what a lovely room, Arthur. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Chauncey. Yes. And my dear, this is Chauncey, my, well, our butler. Oh, how do you do, Chauncey? My pleasure. May I take your coat and umbrella? Of course. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, why don't you look at the lovely view? Chauncey will open the window for you. Oh, lovely. All right, now you open the window. I'll push her out. It looks like an accident. Okay. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go, darling. Have a look at this beauty. Yes, sir. <laughs> Never mind, Chauncey. Not a very nice view anyway, madam. Oh, oh it's a lovely Isn't view. Isn't it a peekaboo view, yes. I suppose? It's adorable. Not yes, working, sir. sir. No, it's not, not working. Never mind the window, Chauncey. Yes, look. Look, you hit her with the lamp, and we'll say she fell into it. Hit her with the lamp. Right? Yes, sir. go on, right. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. 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 Keep looking around, darling. I just adore this place, yes. darling. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's working now, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you keep looking around. Chauncey and I will get ourselves a couple of drinks to go over there. Oh, yes. Chauncey? Yes. Oh. Here we go. Here we go, sir. Oh! Why don't you duck out there, sir? It's not fair, you know, sir. <laughs> Adam and Easy hiding. Yes. I'm... I'm new here, you know. I know. Little bit of a... A couple of stiff ones for yes, ourselves. A couple of stiff ones, sir. Here, Here we go. go. Right. To you, sir. To you, sir. Yeah, yeah, either one. Right, right. It's a real McCoy, sir. Yeah. Yes. Nothing but the best for us, eh? Yes, that's right, sir. Why don't you uh, take the sherry over to the couch and uh, you know what to do with it, eh? Yes, I would know what I like to do with it, sir. <laughs> Sit down, darling. 
That one, I hope, is yours, madam. There we are. Yeah. We'll drink to our future, yes. the two of us, Won't eh? you join us? Oh, I don't think so, madam. <laughs> Before I say goodnight, this is our friend, our biggest fan. This is uh, Louise Ogilvie. She's 87 years old, and uh, she's from Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. She's flown all the way to be with us tonight, and she's brought a present for us. Louise Ogilvie, let's hear it. Nice. Thank you for coming to my show This with this special gift. Now, what is... Tell us a little bit about... Well, this what? special <laughs> Or origami handicraft, and I understand it's been in her family for over four generations. That's right, four generations. Well, you can tell them. I can hear you. Four generations, worth over half a million dollars. May I hold it? Yeah. It is priceless, yeah. and oh, it is. It says, "Look, it's got dates." 1865. There's a little story about Lincoln here. Mm -hmm. Lincoln was born in. Lincoln was born in a small. Look at this. You probably didn't even know it. This, this is here. This is a story about Lincoln's 